Well, at the, at the risk of spreading misinformation, um, I heard on a podcast that it was like confirmed that um, we actually do produce DMT in our pineal glands. Because mm-hmm. before it was just a theory, you know, people just. Um, but yeah, dude, so like if we can do that, I mean, just think like it wouldn't be that crazy if something like that existed, you know? Dude, for real. Uh, yeah. And it's to me, I'm like, dude, we are the most like the human body is one of the craziest chemical plants, chemical dude, producing was... things in the world. Right. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like, dude, yeah, I was just thinking some shit like that earlier. Yeah, dude, one of my friends, uh, it's true. You know, he wanted to make a movie about basically a rave that like the reptilians come to like eat the pineal gland of the humans because that's like the drug for them. Right. It's like, oh, we're gonna, you know, harvest their DMT. But, um, yeah, dude, I, I believe that with the, uh, pineal gland because, I don't know, they say that it releases, like, when you're born or die, near-death experience, or just in, like, a deep sleep. Yep. And, well, in the Bible, I'm, I've probably talked about this, in the book of Jacob, or not the book of Jacob, but the story of Jacob. I got really into it because my name is Jacob. Right. When he, he's like a deceiver. He comes from like a family of liars. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I know. Sucks. Um, but basically he goes at some point to like, he wrestles an angel. Right. And won't give up until like God gives him a miracle. And... Basically, after that, he's like, you know, like, you're no longer Jacob. You're now a man of God, and your name is Israel now. (laughs) But he says something like, Jacob came to a place where he found God, and he called that place Pineal. What? Yeah. fuck? So, in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, the Pineal gland is kind of our almost like our access or connection to whatever the God or the universe or dude, whatever. I feel that for sure. And then I'm like, maybe that's why the man's trying to <clears throat> calcify it and shut it down or whatever, you know? Well, that's kind of what's trippy about like the Bible and shit too is, what if it really was just a bunch of shit like that, but it was like all like just riddles and shit, you know? Because if you take it all like at surface level, um, which a lot of people do, you know, like if you really think Jesus died and three days later he came out of a rock. Right, you know? yeah. Like, <laughs> but if it's like you you like you're talking about earlier in the music videos, like the symbolism, you know, um there's, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> I've never done it, but there are, it is a thing. People study, you know, biblical texts to kind of like figure out what the fuck they're talking about, you know? Yeah. Um, well, that is another one that I've heard about. And you'll hear like even Jim Carrey talk about it, mm-hmm. but it's basically they'll talk about like the uh the story of like christ born and resurrection as another thing that happens in our body right it's i think from like maybe the pituitary gland um but it releases the stuff called the claustrum or no Mm -hmm. the claustrum secretes an oil once a month in the body ancients called christos Hmm. um so yeah, it's basically this weird process <clears> that symbolizes like Santa Claus going down the chimney and um, basically 
because they say something about like our 33 vertebrae and you know Christ being born and then coming back up and then like the crucifixion is supposed to be something up in our like I don't know like our chest and Solar shoulder plexus blades. yeah something like that I don't know exactly but I, I, I believe it I believe there's something it even says right there the birth oh. of Jesus in Bethlehem solar plexus dude weird yeah dude and so I think it's something that everybody you know if they're interested in that stuff they have to like look into it themselves um I just love that this should exist dude and even the uh stuff of like when they talk about the MK Ultra like monarch brain programming or whatever mm -hmm. where they're like oh that all has oh, yeah. to do with how your brain hemispheres look like a butterfly right so yeah all that stuff is really interesting um and even the they say there's something about the north pole and the brain oh whoops where they're like all the reindeer are represented by like all these different things in our brain um, but I'm probably just gonna find some weird stuff on here. But yeah, I don't know. That's I'm fascinated right. with all that stuff. For sure. About how it's, <clears throat> um, just the stuff that exists out there might be in the books. How it really might be something that's in the brain or body just turned into some, like you say, story about giants and angels or I don't know. Right. Dude, yeah. I mean, everyone, everyone loves a good story, you know. I think they need a new Bible. Like, they need to rewrite that shit one more time. Like, uh, yeah, for sure. And that's it. Like, we get it. But just something that's like readable for some people, you know. <clears throat> Dude, I've been reading it a bit, you know, because I've never really fully read it. Maybe I'm just like talking out of my asshole because I've never really sat down and tried to read it. I'm going to read it, the whole thing. And I want to read the Book of Enoch and mm -hmm. the Dead Sea Scrolls stuff just because I'm like, dude, these. what I've realized, dude, is there's so much cool stuff in there that sounds like heavy metal band names. Dude, or yeah. rock and roll songs. Like I've seen the words Avenge Sevenfold in there. No way. Yeah. And I'm like, is this where they so, got the name? <laughs> That's pretty dope. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty inspirational. And sometimes I'm yeah. like, I don't really, I'm not following. But it's cool. It's, mm -hmm. it, I think when people take it super serious, you know, when people are like, fuck the Bible. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. They probably don't know anything about it. And right. they might just think something like God isn't real or whatever. I'm like, yo, even if you don't believe God is real, it's still like a, kind of an interesting book. You know? I mean, it's like the most famous book in the world. <laughs> most definitely. And for them to be like. Or one of. It's probably the most. I think it might be the most printed book in the world. I mean, it's everywhere. It's in the jails. It's in like motel rooms mm -hmm. most of the time. I don't right. know if it was in LA. They had the Bhagavad Gita. Yep. <laughs> um, we were we were in fucking Little Armenia. Oh yeah, we were. Mm -hmm. That was cool. It was a <clears> good time out there. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, I was thinking about it again today, where I was like, I can't wait to go back there. For sure. I'm stoked to go back, dude. 